Welcome back to the channel guys. I've been having some range issues with my 2018 club car onward. Looks like winter's taken its toll on the batteries and uh, it's time to change them out. So I thought I'd bring you along for a quick video and I'll show you how I believe they should be changed out properly. Let's dive in. Okay, so we'll start off by removing the seat. So as always, we're playing with the battery, so we're going to put the controller into tow mode. And then we'll start by removing the battery hold downs. We're going to use a 5 8, 5 8 inch socket. On this car we have a watering system which we're going to remove. Now, a couple of things. You'll notice we're wearing gloves. Battery acids, no joke. Wear gloves, don't get it on your fingers. Secondly is I'm on the grass, I parked on the grass. Um, there's going to be residual acid all over this, this battery tray and that's something that we're going to clean up once we've removed the batteries. <clears throat> um, you may want to wear appropriate eye protection. Okay, next we're going to use a half inch socket and we're going to remove, we're going to remove the battery cables. Now, I know where these cables go, but another smart thing to do is to take a photo of this before you begin, especially if you've got lots of accessories connected, which we do not, really, apart from the, apart from the power converter. Just a good tip. Okay, you can remove these by hand, but I prefer to use one of these and you can find these Amazon, eBay, or any reputable golf cart store. Makes light work of removing the batteries or just moving them around in general. So just for a glimpse inside, this is actually in really good condition. It is a newer golf cart and I believe it was very well looked after and maintained by a local club car dealer. In any case, we're going to sprinkle some baking soda on here which should help to uh, neutralize the acid. And then we'll give it a wash out with some all purpose cleaner. So as I said, this is a early 2018 golf cart. I don't know if you can hear that. Can hear that fizzing. This is a two. This, sorry, this is an early 2018 golf cart, and the batteries were date coded at the end of 2017, I believe December, which isn't unusual. Um, would be nice to get a little bit longer out of these, but uh, I have no idea. I mean, I've owned this car for oh, probably just over 12 months. I've used it quite a bit, but there's no way to know. There's no way to know uh, how much the previous owner used it.
So we'll just leave that for a few minutes now and let it neutralize. Meanwhile, I'll go and get the old purpose cleaner and uh, fire up the garden hose. Okay, so we've let that sit now for a good 10 minutes. Uh, I'm just using this particular old purpose cleaner. I believe I got this from Home Depot. Um, put it into a squeezy bottle. And we'll just go around undiluted and spray some of this on. Just give it a good clean. So on this car I do have um, a 30 amp DC converter, um, I've installed a uh, fuse box for my accessories and I do have a remote control uh, unit for putting the, the underlights and the overlights on uh, remotely, which is quite, quite a nice feature. I'll maybe give you a, give you a rundown of this, this golf cart in another video. This is our kind of daily driver as such. We bought this when uh, our old blue one, which is now the silver one that we discussed. Um, it was getting a little tired. It sat at the back of the garage for ages. So I found this for a really, really good deal down in Florida. And my wife was out of town, so me and the kids jumped in the truck and went and collected it last year. And it's been absolutely superb. Um, it is a newer car and it also has a, um, modified gearing setup in it so it, it runs nearly 30 miles an hour which is uh, pretty cool. Alright so we'll let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll hose it off. Okay, and then we'll dry this off somewhat with some compressed air. Okay, and if we look at that now, that's uh, extremely clean. All right, cool, let's grab the new batteries. Okay, so this is a tricky one. We have to put our hand underneath, grab where the hook engages. And then install the nut. There we go.
just lift up on this. Go the right way. Before you go too tight, let's just make sure that these batteries are nice and straight so it looks nice. Okay. All right, let's clean up the battery cables. All right, no, this isn't always necessary. I'll just get a roll lock disc on a die grinder and just, just clean these up. Just makes for a better connection. Now the most due of you may notice that there's no heat shrink on these um, and that's because it's an open open ended terminal if it was closed yeah I would suggest uh, heat shrinking those these came on the cart they work uh, they work perfectly well so I'm going to keep them like this let's put them back on the cart now the place where I get the batteries from they always send you uh, new nuts and again, you've got a new terminal, you've got a freshly cleaned up um, lug, so why not put new nuts on? And frankly, even if um, these didn't come provided, I would probably just put new ones on anyway. Either that, or I would use the roll-up disc and clean up those in the same manner as the, uh, as the lugs. Don't go too crazy on these terminals. The terminals are lead at the end of the day coming out of the battery and you don't wanna, you don't wanna damage them. Cool, one last step. Something I always put onto the terminals is this battery corrosive preventative. Um, you can get it in spray form or in the brush. I prefer the brush because the spray seems to go everywhere quite thick and gloopy and this will stop any corrosion from building up on the terminals uh, mainly due to uh, the acid off gassing when uh, when it's under charge any of you who have a vehicle or a golf cart for that matter uh, will probably noticed at some point in your lives like the cheesy build up all over the the terminals of your battery and that often happens when the seal between this kind of a stud or electrode here uh, fails and during the charge cycle either via your alternator or in this case via uh, charger uh, during the charge cycle the acid vapor or vapor as such comes out of there and uh, starts to corrode the, the metals and then obviously we've got two dissimilar metals here as well so there's a certain amount of galvanic corrosion with the being lead in the terminal and steel for the, the actual lug. Um, I've been installing this for, for years on my, on my vehicles and uh, or similar products and just turns out great to be honest so highly recommend it. Alright, 
So we'll go, oh, we'll just do one last check. So we're negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So we're all connected in series correctly. 48 volts, let's throw the seat back on. Back into run, no bangs, that's always good. And of course the battery's flat. Thanks for watching, catch you next time. Oh, please like and subscribe, it helps me out. And also you'll get notified when I upload a new video. I'm trying to get better. We've got the microphone now. Hopefully the voice, uh, sorry, the audio is a little bit better this time. Anyway, stay safe, catch you next time. Cheers.